Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about the order of operations. And we're going to evaluate the expression. So if I was given this expression, 8 over 5 minus 1 times 3 plus 6 times 3, and I wanted to evaluate it using the order of operations, I would think about a few things. I would see the parentheses and note that I need to deal with that first, always. So I don't necessarily want to rush to it, right? I see the fraction, I see it separated by multiplication, multiply multiplication at the end. So I kind of write it in steps like this. And the 3 plus 6 simply comes out to be 9 when we're good. But I like to combine steps if I can. I know that preemptively thinking about the future, that the 8 over 5 minus 1, I need to simplify that fraction. So I'll keep the 8 up top, but the 5 minus 1 simplifies to be 4. So I have 8 over 4 times 9 times 3. Well, 8 over 4, I can simplify. That's the next step. That simplification, I want to simplify. It makes it a little easier. 8 divided by 4 comes out to be 2. So I have 2 times 9 times 3. And if it's your fancy here, I got rid of the parentheses. 2 times 9 comes out to be 18 times 3. And 18 times 3 is 36. And there's a... <laughs> Not 36. Oh my goodness, 54. And 8 times 3 is 54, not 36. Oh my goodness, I was thinking 18 times 2. 18 times 3 is 54. Okay? Ah, oh, embarrassing. Ah, uh, late night. So, again, simplify here. 3 plus 6 is 9. Okay? And 8 uh, over 5 minus 1 comes out to be that 4. That's 5 minus plus 4. 8 over 4 is that 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54, not 36, but 54.